Well, winter's back. It's like 36 out here. I want to try to clear some of this up today and load it up in this refrigerator. You know, get rid of some of this. All this loose stuff here on the ground. Probably got to get the wire out of this washing machine. This is an old washing machine. This thing's heavy, man. Probably because of the brick. <laughs> won't, let, won't let them see that when we push it off, right? <laughs> and I got some other tidbits. Let me get some more of this light iron out today. Might as well make a load. I try to do one at least, you know, quite a few times a week. I know we'd all like to make a load every day, but you can usually get like three or four decent ones a week. So, I guess we'll load this stuff up into that fridge and take it in later on. Also, got to do some chores. I got to split some wood for the house and do some other things. All right, I'll come back when I get this, this loaded up. Thought I was hearing a Sasquatch. There's a bunch of guys over here driving this piece of woods. Had me freaking out. I was like, what? <laughs> I guess technically that would have been a pine quatch, right? <laughs> uh, I still gotta separate some of this stuff. And that's stainless from exhaust for a big truck. I wonder if I could flatten that out and turn it into a headache rack for the other truck. This one will probably work good here. Bottom one. That'll really piss off the tailgaters, huh? <laughs> so I'm gonna put some straps on this. A couple, a couple wheel barrels. A bunch of craziness. Get it strapped on there. See if I can find anything else to cram in there. Still got the trailer full too, but. I don't feel like digging the other truck out today, so I guess we'll wait Monday, see what else we find tomorrow, or throw on top of this. So today's Saturday, there's not really anywhere to go trash picking, other than maybe if somebody puts something out, but I usually wait till Sunday. I am going to go drive by the uh, my plasma contract, the guy that has a plasma table, see what's going on there. I haven't heard from him in a while. It's after Christmas, so he's not super busy, probably. Oh, my tire must have something in it. It's kind of flat. I need to pump that up. They're pretty worn out anyway. A year and a half cul-de-sac surfing, right? <laughs> All right. Another thing I gotta do is, this is the Holy Grail. Or what we call the Holy Grail. This is a 97 four wheel drive, four cylinder, five speed. Oh, the door opens. Yeah, five speed with an extended cab. So we call this the Holy Grail because it's a pretty rare truck, actually. 
you know, to find one of these four wheel drive five speed with a four cylinder. You know, most of these are V6s and autos. Another rare one would be a V6 manual. They're out there. I think there's more V6 manuals out there than four cylinders, truthfully. Plus, this is the last year for this body style for the uh, hard body. Uh, but four cylinder KA single cam. Um, we don't have a title or keys for this truck, so it's basically parts, which sucks because four cylinder four wheel drive, right? It's pretty cool. But um, my other buddy, call him Brooklyn Mikey, because he lives in Brooklyn and his name's Mikey, right? So he's Brooklyn Mikey. And uh, this is his truck. He bought it for 400 bucks with no title and no keys, or he lost the keys. I can't remember. But anyway, he has another four-wheel drive extended cab, or no, standard cab manual that I sold him, which is, uh, I don't know what year that truck is, but anyway, his, his time and chain jump. These, these trucks have a pretty big problem with the time and chain setups because of the hydraulic tensioners that are on these engines. If you upgrade them to the 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 DE stuff, which is the dual overhead cam engine, it's the same block, but a different head with dual overhead cams. If you update it to that timing set to the uh, tensioner, it, it has a ratcheting tensioner in it, so it works a lot better. But his his didn't even skip timing because of the timing chain being warm. His skipped timing because of whoever did the timing chain. The first time, they must not have loctited one of the bolts on the chain guide inside here, right? That, that, that the chain rides on. So it vibrated out and it went, it must be down in the oil pan. But in order to get the oil pan off of these trucks, you basically got to pull the motor because you got a differential down there, giant cross member, all that. It's just a pain, right? You can't get the, you can't get the oil pan off easily. So I'm going to start tearing this down today because he only has one day off tomorrow. He's going to drive down in a rental car behind the tow truck, bring the truck down here, and we're going to try to fix it tomorrow, hopefully get it back together. And uh, we can take a look at his hoard a little bit, see how much crap he's got jammed in his place. <laughs> but uh, that's another thing i got to do this afternoon. I told him I'd start tearing this down, hopefully get it most of the way down there so we can all to get one bolt out of there, you know. He said he's been fishing around in his oil pan for two days and he can't find it. It's somewhere down in there. Something tells me the bolt's aluminum. I think I remember it being aluminum somehow. I don't I don't know why, but there's something crazy. But this is a really nice truck. It sucks. But it's parts. You know. I think we got a... I think there's four of us driving these things. And out of the four of us, we got five of them on the road. So, you know, we always need parts. I got this thing strapped down. I guess I'm going to run this in, let these guys finish driving this piece of woods over here. That way I don't want to have to start shooting back or anything, you know? Yep. All right. guess we'll go do that. Come back, do some chores, and start taking that truck apart for him tomorrow. Ugh, that's going to be fun. It's kind of cold out here. Diddle, one. Please tell me that's your last name. Uh, I found the pine quatches. <laughs> there they go. Oh, well, yeah, I can get you guys over here in a safe spot somewhere. Like right here, maybe. I'm just gonna put this way.
looks like a lot on there. 740 pounds, 37 bucks. All right, mechanical tip of the day. These clutch fans, the clutches have oil in them, right? So when you store them, you don't wanna store them flat like this. I mean, if it's a couple hours and you're putting it back together right away, yeah, but if you're storing it long-term, you wanna stand it up like it's in the engine because the oil will come out of the seal back here. And if you lose all the oil out of this clutch, it's no good, it won't. You'll have to replace it. It won't work anymore. So anytime you store anything like that for a long period of time, just set it upright. I just realized this thing's got NGK Ricer Boy spark plugs on it. Spark plug wires. Ooh, might have to steal them for the $400 Nissan.
All right, this, this right here is the oil pump. They're external oil pumps. Uh, there's a shaft that runs through this timing cover and actually indexes over here with the distributor. So <clears throat> the distributor can only go into the, the oil pump one way. It has a half moon, a half moon cutout. I'll see if uh, I can jam you in there. There you go. You see the half moon shaft? That indexes into the bottom of the distributor. It can only go in one way. It won't, it won't go in any other way. But the oil pump has a helical gear on it. And I don't know how many teeth are on there, but it's quite a few. Maybe a eight or ten. I guess we'll see when we get it out. But uh, if you don't get the oil pump timing correct, you'll never get the distributor pump timing correct. So you have to make sure that when you put the oil pump back in, you put it back in in the exact same orientation that you took it out. Now, this motor is probably never going to run in this truck ever again. So, you know, if we ever need to do that farther down the road, we'll just have to figure it out. But I just want to let you guys know that if you're ever messing with any of these, these uh, single cam KAs from the uh, 80s and 90s. Well, that wasn't good. <laughs> one of the oil pump bolts just broke off. This top one inside here. So good thing we don't have to put it back in here, right? There's the washer. Well, not yet anyway, but like I said, if we ever use this motor in another project, we'll just steal all these parts off of whatever we're replacing, you know, the motor we're pulling out. I don't know. I think if I pull the motor out of my truck, I'm just going TDI swap it. All right, let's see if this thing will pop out of there. I'll try to stick you guys down in here. Good thing you guys are skinny. Well, the fun begins, right? That top that top back bolt and the oil pump snapped off. See it there? It seized the, the the shank of the bolt is see look how rusty that bottom one is. You know, that one wasn't stuck, but it's seized up in that oil pump and you got to get this oil pump out to get this timing cover off. <sighs> so, I guess I'm going to wait for Mikey in the morning. He's got a 27 mil to get the crank off. And then uh, I'll take the rest of these 10s out while I'm here and the 12s for the cover. And eh, maybe I'll leave them. That way they're holding the oil pump in place. But we might have to plunge into here with a cutoff wheel. It's going to mess up the oil pump, but whatever. I'd rather save the timing cover than the oil pump. But like I was just telling him, I just called him. Worst case scenario, we'll take this crank off and hole saw right through here. We'll just cut the fucking timing cover open and get the bolt out that he needs sucks but this is the stuff you you run into messing with this old junk you know all right we'll see what else we can get into today I see all these mounds out here I've been getting horse manure from a lady that uh, puts it in plastic bags at the end of her driveway so I bring it out here and I drop it cut the bags open and I have a video a couple weeks back where there was a bunch of turkeys out here digging around look how well they spread this stuff out 
see all right here these mounds so some of these piles had a little bit of corn in them i guess you know that they got got swept up and that's what they were looking for they're in there kicking it around looking for the corn so the smart farmer that i am i think i'm gonna come out here and put a little bit of corn in every pile yeah it's half job season over here all right look how well they spread this out this i mean they're in here just kicking around like crazy like here's one they didn't touch and look <laughs> yeah i have a video a couple weeks back i think it's called free labor man they did a really good job out here look how much they spread this stuff all right i guess we're gonna come out here and sprinkle some corn for them give them a little bit of reward right <laughs> yeah look this one they didn't touch yet that's crazy that's pretty awesome though <laughs> mother nature right you got to work with her you can't work against her all right i think i'm gonna sign off here for the day <sighs> see if we can get into something crazy tomorrow introduce you guys to brooklyn mikey he's a character that's for sure all right thanks for watching subscribe for more like share all that happy horse crap right there's the horse crap, but anyway, right? All right, guys. See you later.